all heels and headpieces at Flemington as James Cummings continues the family oats tradition. This is Melbourne's Nine News with Peter Hitchener. Flemington was the most stylish spot in the country this afternoon as frocks and fascinators took centre stage on Oaks Day. It was a change of pace for the fashions on the field winner who swapped managing a doggy daycare centre. Madeline Spark met her. The heels are high and the headpieces humongous. How did you fit in a car this morning? Oh yeah, it was a lot of effort. We had to take the roof racks and... <laughs> From super size to super small. What do you fit in there? Uh, my house keys, <laughs> my driver's licence. If there's a day to accessorise, it's today. The cane is beautiful. It's uh, handmade from um, Congo, so it's uh, where I'm from. As always, the fashions on the field was hotly contested, with many ladies making their own custom pieces, some coming together in the final hours. And I was up till 2 o'clock this morning because I had to do a quick dash to the feather shop and uh, buy the extra feathers. But ultimately, it was this all-white ensemble that took out the top prize. It was a big, beautiful gown, but we've had it shortened to a midi dress. New Zealander Eleanor Campbell scooping up $45,000. Me and my mother run a doggy daycare. So very different to dressing up. So yeah. you don't want money paws on this. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. My clients won't recognise me at all. Also in a neutral palette, Melbourne Cup Carnival ambassadors Lady Eliza and Amelia Spencer, letting their bling do the talking. At Schweppes, the dress came with the drinks. Everywhere else was a chance to get a snap for social media. And it's as much about the fashion as it is the friendships. Many of these groups here have been coming to Oaks Day year after year. They all make sure that they get in nice and early to request the day off work. Cheers to that! <laughs> what is it about it that you love so much? Oh, I just love the food, the company, the drinking, dressing up, yeah. We've been yeah, doing a car park for Oaks uh, for 17 years. Madeline Spark, Nine News. And Tony Jones joins me now with a look ahead to sport. Thanks, Pete. Good evening. We'll have more on the Oaks, where another racing dynasty is tonight celebrating. Turning also, to sport, Tony Jones. Just once let me be on the nice list, please, just <laughs> once. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Pete. It's been a good day to be named James at Flemington. A first Oaks win for McDonald as Cummings keeps it in the family. Also ahead tonight, Stephen May doubles down on that Collingwood sledge. And a teary mare, Glanning, opens up on her toughest test. It was very much a case of home James in the Oaks today, jockey James McDonald teaming with trainer James Cummings to capture the feature race at Flemington. As has been the case for much of this spring, the focus was very much on Damien Oliver. Having won this race a staggering seven times, another win in his final fling would have been fitting. But Ollie would have to settle for third. This day belonged to Superman. A Flemington double for James McDonald, the Derby and now the Oaks, finishing first, providing a first. I've never won a VRC Oaks and it's, it's a test of training ability, horsepower and obviously you've got to execute pretty well. And for trainer James Cummings, another Oaks, two in three years. For the family, what does it mean? Oh well look, all these group ones are special and uh, a time-honoured VRC Oaks, you know, it's, uh, it's going to go straight to the pool room. All up, the Cummings family, spread over four generations, has won this race 13 times. Hardly unlucky for some. Now to some football, and Melbourne Stephen May has doubled down somewhat on his best and fairest jibe at Collingwood, still believing the Ds could have halted the Magpies Premiership.